This introduction to KPOPEN is brought to you by the KPOPEN Laboratories Network, most often referred to as CIOLAN, the not for profit organization maintaining and developing the KPOPEN standard. The KPOPEN standard is a de facto standard for interfacing process modeling software components and applications in use in the design and operation of chemical processes, so in use in what is referred to as computer-aided process engineering. It is important to understand that KPOPEN is not a piece of software. It is a formal documentation set and everyone, every organization, may implement it in any piece of software. The KPOPEN standard is open multi-platform, uniform, and available free of charge. Where does KPOPEN fit in? Almost every process modeling tool, or so-called process modeling environment in the KPOPEN jargon, exposes proprietary interfaces to achieve interoperability at thermodynamic level and unit operation level with this or that of a piece of software referred to as a process modeling component within the KPOPEN standard. This functionality is necessary because the library of built-in models may not be sufficient to represent a given mixture with the adequate accuracy or to represent a given piece of equipment with the adequate level of detail. KPOPEN provides a common ground for interfacing, therefore eliminating the need to rely on proprietary interfaces which have to be each separately maintained by both sides. With KPOPEN, no need to reprogram a thermodynamic server or unit operation model in order to use it in a different process simulator. Once developed according to the KPOPEN standard, a process modeling component is immediately available for use as binary code in any process modeling environment adhering to KPOPEN. KPOPEN enables software components supplied by third parties such as physical property packages applicable to a specific domain or process to be used in plug and play mode in commercial process modeling software tools. This applies to a large set of software components and process modeling environments. This helps ensure thermodynamic consistency of a large range of applications. The same KPOPEN property package, modeling a given mixture, can be used in different PMEs providing the very same results. The same applies to unit operations. Once a unit operation model has been made a KPOPEN compliant unit operation, it can be plugged seamlessly in any KPOPEN compliant process simulation environment. Since a subflow sheet can be seen as a KPOPEN unit operation, such subflow sheets may even, provided these can be exported from a PME, be plugged into another PME. It is then possible to mix the power of two different process simulators in order to better represent an actual process. There are many ways to develop a KPOPEN unit operation. Besides those PMEs developed by software vendors, they can be built using wizards for various programming languages or using modelers such as Scilab, MATLAB or Microsoft Excel. Let us consider first example. CAMSAP is a separation column simulation package by Ross Taylor and Harry Kuzman. CAMSEP is widely used in the academic and industrial world. A light version is available, free of charge, featuring an equilibrium distillation model, while a state-of-the-art rate-based separation model is available commercially via the CAMSEP consortium. Since potential and actual users of CAMSEP are licensing different PMEs, the developers of CAMSEP required a method of integration into process environments with a wide support for different platforms. CAMSEP developers had no access to each of these platforms to allow specific couplings. 
Hence, Cape Open was chosen to obtain the necessary interviability. Since then, the CAMSEP Cape Open Unit Operation has been used in many simulation environments. Consider now a second example, this time from the end-user point of view. Some operating companies use more than one process simulator. Shell Global Solutions, for example, uses both Unisim Design by Honeywell and Pro2 by Inventis. It is important, however, that equipment in the two simulation environments gives consistent simulation results. So the same model should be integrated in both environments. This example shows a GASP in-house absorber stripper model. GASP was developed in-house. This model deals with amine-based systems and is based operating using the in-house amine thermosystem SADIP. Both the unit operation and the thermodynamics can run in either of the simulation platforms as their integration is CAPE-OPEN based. CAPE-OPEN fulfills the objective to expand what can be done with process modeling. Indeed, CAPE-OPEN removes a major barrier to the construction of best-in-class process models in specialist areas. Learn more about CAPEOPEN by visiting our website where the CAPEOPEN specification documents can be freely downloaded, where a list of PMEs and PMCs supporting CAPEOPEN interfaces is provided, or where software tools to help experiencing CAPEOPEN are offered.